Good morning, folks, or actually afternoon. Uh, I am going to show you, just dawned on me, we have not seen any of the garden. I did a video on Memorial Day weekend, and then I haven't looked at it again all summer. Now, <clears throat> it was Labor Day weekend, this past weekend, so that's the span of the complete summer. Look at the lawn. Normally by this time of the year, in previous years, the lawn would be brown and scorched from the August heat and sun. This year we got a lot of rain and that never happened, which is good in some respects. It's especially good if you're like me and you love to mow the lawn. But I got the rain barrel here. It poured last night, so of course it's topped off and the leader was missing for a couple of years so I just positioned the barrel under so that it drips in with no leader it's kind of hillbilly I guess but it works let's look at these that's some banana peppers and I've been harvesting off this for a while in fact this one's ready to come come off I'll pick that when I'm done here I got another one back there that might be ready couple other little ones here. This here is a blackberry bush and it comes off. So right there I have a black raspberry and those there are blackberries and I've been taking cuttings from them. So I got one, I got one over there in the bush. I got a couple over there and I've got several here different spots right and they're doing really well and if you look at my the garden starting video I did in Memorial Day, these were little, right? So they're growing nice. Now these are all going to go down to Virginia to the project that we're doing down there. We're renovating a house and we got a couple acres and we're going to try to start a little farmstead, homestead, whatever down there. So most of these, these are getting some kind of, I don't know what's going on with those, but they haven't been growing a lot, but actually these are newer ones. They weren't here on Memorial Day because all through the summer I've been bringing more out. We had quite a bit of rain and wind yesterday. As I look over there, I see we might have some damage to those bushes. Here I have basil. It's starting to bolt a little here and go to seed, which is good. I'm going to try to figure out how to save the seed. Again, I've been harvesting off this basil, tub of basil, all summer long. In here, you can see it right there, I got a ghost pepper. And I got a little, some little peppers on there and they're supposed to be pretty hot. I'm going to attempt to make some hot sauce or something. I got a, four tomato plants here, two big boys and two early girls. And I've been getting tomatoes off those pretty much all year, all summer as well. These are red Marconi's. Right, and that one's a good size. Actually, those two look like they're picking size. But I bought the seeds from Deep South Homestead, and um, in the beginning of the uh, season, when I tried to germinate them, it was cold inside. It was to the point where, like, we weren't running the heat anymore, but it was not really warm enough for germination. So they took a while to germinate, and that was all, I'm sure, due to the environmental conditions here inside the house like I said the seeds were all viable and they ended up they did end up germinating and I put them out here and they've been out here all summer now I gotta try to contact Danny and find out uh, I know this now is not a good time but for him but um at some point or if anybody knows they could comment are those I'm sure they're supposed to turn red because the ones he had were red so probably going to wait on those although we're already into the 50s low 50s high 40s at night here so you know he grows them down in Mississippi but up here in New England maybe I just don't have the season for them so are they ever going to turn red can I harvest them like that put them in the window and let them finish I don't know I'll figure it out one way or another here's another plant that some reason it got put out at the same time but it didn't get as much of a 
like didn't do as well for some reason and it might be the way I planted them. I planted everything in containers because we got the house on the market and so I know I touched on that in the video too so I'm sure that's my own doing too. I have cucumbers in these two buckets and this is what they are and like I don't know of course that one's rotted I could throw that one right out they're all pretty much like that and I've only gotten a few all summer and they were like that somebody said that maybe there's not enough drainage and that's you know or maybe they got too much water is what they said and I equated that to maybe I don't have the proper drainage I did cut a few holes, uh, drill a few holes in the bottom of these pails, but we did have a lot of rain. Maybe, I'm pretty sure that's what happened, is that they just didn't drain out enough. And so by the time I figured it out, it was too late. And so that's, that's my season fail, the cucumbers. I did get a couple green ones that were round, made them, and they were good. But yeah, all in all, that was my fail. Here I have all my herbs. Um, they have a squash plant there by itself. Tons of flowers, never got one squash. I think it must be some kind of pollination issue. I don't know, had some beans here. They did really well, got a lot of beans. And I got tons of blackberries. And there's still some on here now. It's a little like yuck. These I think are past their. I think the cold, you know, these like it really hot, right? So I think the cold kind of ruined these. I hadn't picked them in a couple days, and so I was getting. Oh, good night. I was getting maybe a pint a day for quite a while. Looks like last night's windstorm might have. Might have tried to tore these down a little. And they gotta all be trimmed and pruned anyway once they go dormant, so not a big deal. Try to do it while I'm holding the camera, that's not very good. But under here, I have some peppers. So I have some jalapeno. was me hit the key thing for my car so I got some jalapenos and you can see this little one here maybe you can I don't want to pull it off because it's small right there it is but I've been picking some there's a couple decent sized ones right there they're still a little small but again there's another one but again because it's cooler at night now they might just be done right I know the peppers like it hot so it's possible that I'm done with my peppers um, yeah oh and I got some cayennes here in fact I gotta come on and pick because I got another red one almost ready to pick here and I got a bunch of them that are green and another one here Oh, picked it by mistake, but that's right. These can ride up in the window. I'm gonna pick these while I'm here now too, actually. These bananas. And that's a good one right there. Decent size one. I got a couple. That one I'm gonna let go a couple more days. Like I said, I don't know if they're gonna do anything more. But the cayennes and then over here I got a couple more berries that I'm planting to bring to Virginia I propagated and cut out of the big bush and I was trimming my suckers in my tomato plant early on and I just stuck my finger in the dirt and stuck one of the suckers in and got this nice plant coming out here with a few tomatoes on it I doubt they're gonna have time to get red but I can harvest some green or I just put them in the window or whatever but just kind of wanted to show you. I know I haven't done an update all year, and so, or all summer. And it's been very busy summer, and so, it is what it is, but 
again, just trying to propagate some berries, bring them down. Got some little bit of yield. My cucumbers were my epic fail. And everything else is, is what it is. Thanks for watching. God bless you.